Greetings and salutations, software engineers. In today's video, we're gonna be going over this course called Code Rest, Hacking the Coding Interview on Educative.io. We're gonna look over the course. We're gonna look at some of the features, some of the curriculum, and also some pricing, all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Code Rust consists of a group of people who are former hiring managers in some of the biggest tech companies on planet Earth. They curated these questions and these sample problems from real life coding interviews. Again, this is on educative.io. And if you're new to this platform, number one, I highly recommend checking it out. The number two thing you should know is that they don't do videos. They have IDEs right in the courses so you can get right into it and start working on those coding chops. So for this course in particular, there are 100 16 lessons, 654 challenges, 835 playgrounds, and no less than 1,782 illustrations. They estimate that it will take you about 40 hours to complete. And of course, your mileage may vary on that number. There are a lot of opportunities to practice coding, and it all goes back to some really main concepts. Let me actually pop in here. We can go into the course and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. If we go to arrays, we start off with implement binary search on a sorted array. The challenge is given a sorted array of integers, return the index of a given value. Now, if you're panicking at this point because you're like, what the heck? Don't worry because they actually go through everything. And this is where those illustrations and those graphics come into play. Again, there's over 1700 illustrations in this course. So there's plenty to absorb before you actually try it. And as we scroll down here, here is your first little IDE. There are many IDEs in just one lesson. They also support multiple languages. So C++, Java, Python, even JavaScript. That's nice to see. Ruby and for the cool kids, we also have Go. Oh, and then below that, we have solution number one. This is using iteration. The other thing that's pretty neat about this course is that there's not just one possible solution they give you. For example, if we scroll down here, solution one uses iteration and there is the corresponding IDE for that. And there's also a solution two where you approach it with recursion, implementing the binary search algorithm recursively. They also do just a quick show and tell of the time and space complexity of each of these solutions. Now, the last lesson in the arrays section is product of all array elements except self. Now, of course, because we're further down in this course, it's gonna be a little more challenging. The solution offers a naive approach as well as the optimized approach and also a snapshot of that time and space complexity. Other categories in this course include linked lists, math and stats, strings, trees, stacks and queues, graphs, backtracking, and dynamic programming, along with some miscellaneous challenges. Let's go into dynamic programming, Fibonacci numbers. The layout of this course is very consistent, so you can pretty much always know what to expect. It starts off once again with the problem statement, sample input, expected output, a chance for you to try it yourself in the IDE, and then down to the recursive solution, along with the iterative solution with plenty of charts graphics, illustrations, and finally, that time and space complexity snapshot. Some of the questions in the miscellaneous section include sum of three values, make columns and rows zeros, search in a matrix, implement LRU cache, and of course, many others. Some of you may be wondering, okay, what's the difference between hacking the coding interview and grokking the coding interview? This is another course on Educative. I've reviewed this course before. It is massive, but the difference between grokking the coding interview and hacking the coding interview is that in the grokking course, they're showing you patterns so that you can apply the patterns to whatever problem that your interviewer throws at you. Whereas with hacking, they're giving you the actual very specific problem. So if I go back to rocking the coding interview, you see here, instead of like array, hash table, whatever, they have the pattern. So pattern one is the sliding window, the next pattern, two pointers, the next pattern, fast and slow, so on and so forth. Educative estimates is gonna take you about 50 hours to crank this one out. I wouldn't doubt that. There are over 1,000 playgrounds, so a lot to keep you busy. But that's the biggest difference is that grokking is for patterns, hacking, the one I'm reviewing today, because I get them confused all the time. This one has 
actual specific questions, specific implementations, and shows you solutions iteratively, recursively, and whatever else is appropriate for that question. So how much does this course cost? Well, you have a few options. If you just want this course, it's $79 for a year, or they also have a membership, which in my opinion is a lot more valuable than just buying the course a la carte. With the membership, you get 400 course and paths. They have a monthly subscription for $59. They also have annual subscriptions and that's on a standard or premium. The standard is $199 a year and the premium is $299 a year. They also have two-year plans, so very flexible. All in all, I think Code Rust hacking the coding interview is definitely worth checking out. It is so rich with illustrations, playgrounds, coding challenges, so many interactive bits. I love how specific the questions are. I like that it was designed by actual hiring managers, so they're not like, you know, going to Wikipedia and like, pulling questions out of their butt. So that's pretty much as real as it gets. I love that realistic element. I also love that there aren't any videos. If you follow my channel, you know Educative.io is one of my favorite platforms for software engineers. I think they offer great value. And this course has a lot of questions to keep you busy, to keep you honing those coding skills. So thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.